Hey guys, welcome to our channel. Before starting the video, if you have not subscribed our channel till now, then please subscribe it. In this video, we will see what is singleton design pattern. In object oriented programming, a singleton class is a class that can have only one object, an instance of the class, at a time. The singleton pattern is implemented by creating a class with the method that creates a new instance of the class if one does not exist. If an instance already exists, it simply returns a reference to that object. To make sure that the object cannot be instantiated any other way, the constructor is made private. Predefine singleton class being used in core Java API, runtime, in Java Lang package toolkit, in Java AWT package driver manager and connection, in Java SQL package. How many ways to create singleton? Eager. Lazy. Static block. Build view. Thread safe. Enum. Let's implement. First, create Java project called singleton demo. Project created. Let's first see how to implement Eager Singleton. Create a new package to make it simple. Package name ends with singleton type. Create a new class to make it simple. Class name is singleton and this class will contain the main method. Inside the same let's create a new class to make it simple. Class name is an Eager Singleton. Let's create an object of eager singleton class and this object should be private and static. As you know when class loads then first static variable gets the memory. As the class name says eager singleton so when class loads the first thing it will instantiate this class first as a singleton. The rule says constructor must be private and this constructor just empty. As you saw singleton variable is private so nobody can access from outside so we need a method which will help to access this. So to make it simple method name is get the instance and this method must be static. That's it for this class. See how simple it is. Let's how to access this object from the main method. Get instance method is static. So we can directly access this using class name. Let's print this object and to test let's copy same. Let's run and see what is the output. See both object printing same output. Both have same hash code. I hope now you won't forget how to implement an eager singleton. See how to implement lazy singleton. Create a new package to make it simple package name ends with singleton type. Create a new class to make it simple class name is singleton and this class will contain the main method. Inside the same let's create a new class to make it simple class name is a lazy singleton. Let's declare a reference of lazy singleton class and this reference should be private and static and initialize with null. As you know when class loads then first static variable gets the memory so this time it's null. As the class name says lazy singleton so when class loads the first thing it will initialize singleton variable with a null as a singleton. The rule says constructor must be private and this constructor just empty. As you saw singleton variable is private so nobody can access from outside so we need a method which will help to access this. So to make it simple method name is get the instance and this method must be static. And this method will check if the reference is null then create new object otherwise won't. That's it for this class. See how simple it is. I hope you understand why it's called lazy singleton because it won't create an object at the very beginning. It will create object inside the get instance method and based on the condition. Let's how to access this object from the main method. Get instance method is static so we can directly access this using class name. Let's print this object and to test let's copy same. Let's run and see what is the output. 
See both object printing same output, both have same hash code. I hope now you won't forget how to implement a lazy singleton. See how to implement static block singleton. Create a new package to make it simple package name ends with singleton type. Create a new class to make it simple class name is singleton and this class will contain the main method. Inside the same let's create a new class to make it simple class name is static block singleton. Let's declare a reference to static block singleton class and this reference should be private and static and initialize with null. The instance will create the static block so instantiate when class loads. As the class name says static block singleton so when class loads the first thing it will execute static block then during execution it will create an object of static block singleton class as a singleton. The rule says constructor must be private and this constructor just empty. As you saw singleton variable is private so nobody can access from outside so we need a method which will help to access this. So to make it simple method name is get the instance and this method must be static. That's it for this class. See how simple it is. Let's how to access this object from the main method. Get instance method is static so we can directly access this using class name. Let's print this object and to test let's copy same. Let's run and see what is the output. See both object printing same output. Both have same hash code. I hope now you won't forget how to implement static block singleton. See how to implement build pew singleton. Create a new package to make it simple package name ends with singleton type. Create a new class to make it simple class name is singleton and this class will contain the main method. Inside the same let's create a new class to make it simple class name is build pew singleton. Let's create a static inner class and inside this class will create an object of build pew singleton class. Let's create a private static final object of the parent class. As you know when class loads then first static inner class gets the memory. As the class name says build pew singleton so when class loads then the first thing it will load the static inner class first and then create an object of build pew singleton class as a singleton. The rule says constructor must be private and this constructor just empty. As you saw inner class is private so nobody can access from outside so we need a method which will help to access this. To make a simple method name is get the instance and this method must be static. That's it for this class. See how simple it is. Let's how to access this object from the main method. Get instance method is static so we can directly access this using class name. Let's print this object and to test let's copy same. Let's run and see what is the output. See both object printing same output. Both have same hash code. I hope now you won't forget how to implement build pew singleton. See how to implement thread safe singleton. Create a new package to make it simple package name ends with singleton type. Create a new class to make it simple class name is singleton and this class will contain the main method. The inside the same let's create a new class to make it simple class name is a thread safe singleton. Let's declare a reference of thread safe singleton class and this reference should be private and static and initialize with null. As you know when class loads then first static variable gets the memory so this time it's null as a singleton. The rule says constructor must be private and this constructor just empty. As you saw singleton variable is private so nobody can access from outside so we need a method which will help to access this and to make it thread safe this method must be synchronized. So to make a simple method name is get the instance and this method must be static. And this method will check if the reference is null then create new object otherwise won't. That's it for this class. See how simple it is. Let's how to access this object from the main method.
Get instance method is static so we can directly access this using class name. Let's print this object and to test let's copy same. Let's run and see what is the output. See both object printing same output, both have same hash code. There is one more way you can do the same using a synchronized lock. So the approach is more secure compared to the previous one because it is checking for null twice so it's called double checking. Let's run and see what is the output. See both object printing same output. Both have same hash code. I hope now you won't forget how to implement thread safe singleton. See how to implement a num singleton. Create a new package to make it simple. Package name ends with singleton type. Create a new class to make it simple class name is singleton and this class will contain the main method. Inside the same let's create a num to make it simple. A num name is a num singleton. This num will contain the only instance that's it. See how simple it is. Let's how to access this num from the main method. Let's print this object and to test let's copy same. Let's run and see what is the output. See both object printing same output, both have same hash code. I hope now you won't forget how to implement a num singleton. Let's review all one by one. I hope you like this video then please subscribe our channel.